This is the uh, student placement introductory framework. So why do we do placements? Well, it's important for the beginning student to start their clinical journey with a placement provider who provides a safe setting, a sense of security for the student therapist, a place where they can share their anxieties, and a place where the agency, of course, does the assessment of clients where they filter and match up um, the clients for the therapists, the beginning therapists developmentally uh, so the mix goes correctly. It's a place where supervision can get supported supervision, placement supported supervision and also clinical supervision which you may have to pay for extra but it's in a supportive session and also is pivotal to the uh, young therapist journey. It's a place where you can network, uh, the placement provider or the agency. Um, it's a good place for you to start gaining mutual uh, collegial uh, journeys to meet fellow student therapists and of course network within the placement providing system itself. It's a good place to think about career options, establishing contacts, uh, mutual professional journeys, and of course getting in with the placement provider or the agency so maybe even after the psychotherapy training is over you've got contacts and places where you may get jobs. Um, in terms of building up self-confidence this placement system is really good for building up professional confidence, learning professional excellence, making mistakes and whole wealth of professional learning. It's a safe secure place uh, and the placement usually uh, is two or three placements over um, 100 hours. So as I said, you get the relevant clinical hours, uh, you get your professional experience, you get the 100 clinical hours, and you may of course do more hours uh, if you want to then go on to register for UKCP. The MIP hours and the BACP hours are 100 clinical hours and the placement as I've said, in a, you know, a safe, contained uh, environment where there's accountability and feedback between the training organisation and the placement itself. So when do we do the placements? Well, we do them um, well after the student applies for them, usually in the December or the uh, November or even the January of the second year. You need to get the placement uh, in place by the beginning of the third year. Hopefully you'll start before then. Uh, as I said, the time frame is you can apply even a couple of months before you do the clinical endorsement. But you must really realize there's a beginning and an ending of the placement um, and that it doesn't go on forever. As I say, the number of hours, 100 hours, is what you need to do, though you may go on uh, longer with the placement provider so that you can collect more clinical experience and more hours.